The ads have been running, calling Measure 4 a 400% tax increase. While there are only 25 days left, it's a hot topic in North Dakota, and some people have the opportunity to vote now. We've been breaking down the measures for you, and we continue with one of the most talked about measures. That's Measure Number 4, which involves tobacco. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop explains what you need to know before you cast your ballot. You probably have gotten one of these in your mailbox. What's really behind Measure 4, and why do you keep getting these vote no flyers? I think a multimedia campaign was needed to fight this measure simply because it's nine pages of complicated changes and exemptions to North Dakota law. Measure 4 is all about the tax on tobacco products. Right now, the tax per package of cigarettes is 44 cents. If approved, it would skyrocket to $2.20. Opposition to the measure says it's clearly a tax hike. There's, there's nothing wrong with the sale of a legal product to an adult customer. And a vote no also means that we're not going to sit by and watch people bring measures forward like this that want to take $70 million from hardworking taxpayers in North Dakota and have no real accountability for who controls and spends that money. We have some of the cheapest tobacco in the nation, and having cheap tobacco is not a good thing. The only winner when it comes to cheap tobacco is the tobacco industry, because that helps them continue to sell their deadly product. And increasing the price of tobacco is proven to be the most effective strategy to prevent our youth from ever starting to use tobacco. If approved, the money from this measure would go to a new Veterans Tobacco Trust Fund, along with a health trust fund that would support behavioral health services and public health. There will be oversight by governor appointed boards. Raise it for Health North Dakota, the group behind the measure, put it on the ballot after two bills regarding tobacco tax failed in the past legislative session. Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. Fargo Cass Public Health Director says they support the principle behind Measure 4, but as a government entity cannot tell people to vote yes or no. The director says there's been preliminary discussion about what money would fund exactly, but no decisions have been made. To read the full measure or learn more about the other measures on this year's ballot, visit Valley News Live and click on the election tab.